What's up guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, um, we're going to be working on the Supra, and uh, I have something really, really, really exciting to say, we're going to be fully assembling the Supra all in this video, but before we actually get into that exciting stuff, I do want to say today's video is sponsored by Carly, Carly is a skin I've been using for so, so, so long, and I absolutely love it, if your car is throwing a bunch of lights and you don't know what it is, you can go ahead and use Carly to fix that issue, if your car has some voltage lights and some other things because of some modifications, you can use Carly. If you put a new battery into your car and uh, it's throwing an error or it's throwing a battery discharge or it's draining too quickly, you can use Carly. If your transmission is acting really weird and you're trying to figure out what's going on with it, you can use Carly. Carly is not just a scanning device, but it actually is so much more than that. That's why I absolutely love it. It's Bluetooth to your phone, and these adapters are under 100 bucks. Honestly, probably one of the best scanners you could pick up in today's market. It works on pretty much any vehicle, which is super nice. I'm actually gonna be using this scanner to fix all the issues on our Super, the finishing touch, the bow on the car, and the end of this video, so stay tuned. Now, for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's go ahead and assemble the Supra. So we are pulling up right now to the paint shop. I am so, so, so stoked for this. It has been literally a minute now, guys, that this car, I mean, I'm really hoping he takes it. He told me to bring it in Thursday. Imagine me bringing it right now, and he's like, hey, man, you know what? Actually, we need to push it even further. And I'd be like, come on, dude. I just need this car on the road. So uh, fingers crossed, guys, I'll take this car, and hopefully we can start get this thing painted so we can start modifying, we can start enjoying it. Um, like, this car honestly is a run and drive since day one. It's just cosmetically ugly since day one. All right, guys, pulling up. Wish me luck. All right, guys, so first good sign. Um, literally, as soon as I pulled up, he decided to put this thing over my window to prevent dust from going inside the car. I don't know if you guys remember, but my biggest issue with my last body shop was every time I get the car back, it is the dustiest car in the interior, and it needs a full deep cleaning detail after it comes out of a body shop. And you guys always complain about that, and I completely understand, but I figured with the cheap prices, you know, you're not gonna get the best service. But over here, so far, so good, guys. I saw him automatically cover that. I'm like, he's like, I'm gonna make sure there's not much that gets in there so that's really 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 good i'm super stoked about that and not to mention we already came down about price up front and again we'll mention i'll talk about all that details hopefully once the job is done one small little issue though i didn't realize i need to bring the gas cap he needs the gas cap to also use for the blending and also take it in for like paint testing and stuff like that so i need to get that gas cap so i need to go back 45 minutes home get that gas cap 45 minutes back so i'll catch y'all then so actually the reality is I usually just skip around to show you guys all the good stuff when I get the gas cap and stuff like that but um the reality is I jumped off my car 45 minutes away from home and I don't have a ride so I'm hoping the Jonathan's gonna come through pick us up and it'll probably actually help him wrap his car in the garage I haven't done a wrapping video in a little bit so I might actually just show you guys a little bit of it it is gonna be in his video but if he picks me up that's something I want to at least help him out with just because uh, I mean who else is gonna pick me up 45 minutes away from home Dang! <laughs> Looking. What happened? Bro, I was telling you, you're saving the day, bro. I appreciate you. 45 minutes from home, this guy pulls up, and this thing's looking a lot better, bro, in purple. It's, it's slowly coming together. It's coming, bro. Once we wrap up that quarter panel, dude, it's gonna look so good, dude. Oh, bro, I love the color, though. It's nice, right? Wow. 
That is clean. I'm definitely going to have to help him uh, try to get all these wrinkles and these scratches out of the wrap. We just have to pretty much heat that up and stuff like that. But guys, this thing is going to come out so sick. And guys, about a few hours later, this is how my boy Johnny's car is looking. Honestly, it's been a minute since he wrapped the car, bro. It's been a hot minute. I'm but not gonna lie. this honestly came out really, really, really good. And uh, we pretty much went above and beyond. We actually removed the gas cap to wrap the gas cap. We removed the trim, which I've actually never done before, to, uh, to pretty much wrap underneath this. So we put the trim back on there gonna be really mint honestly this purple it's gonna be gloss black trim probably carbon mirror caps with the brown interior the aluminum trim manual gearbox guys this thing is dude this thing is pretty nice like i actually never thought this color combination would look really good but dang that looks good um oh yeah peanut butter jelly you should get pp pb and j plates on here bro Bro, or should I get a sticker, PB&J, right Ooh, here? Oh, new That'd decals on the channel? That'd be sick. <laughs> so yeah, we, he pretty much got that entire side knocked out. We got the door and the quarter on that side. On this side, we did knock out the quarter. So at least now you can't you can't really see any of that Bondo stuff. He is gonna be knocking out the front bumper, rear bumper at a professional shop to get that you know just done properly. And then he's gonna wrap the the roof black. So um, for the most part, I think we knocked this out. As of this point, I guess I'll just catch you guys. Once you catch you get some more news on the Supra. And guys, about a few weeks uh, not a few days one week later we are finally back with the super <laughs> look at this thing it has been a long time coming guys i've been trying to get this thing perfected for god knows how long we finally have the super door paint match we do have like an entire quarter panel paint match blended it looks so 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 good honestly guys if you guys look at this paintwork there is no orange peel on this paint it literally looks like factory paint it looks so 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 good it is such a good job and that was exactly what i was hoping for on this project mainly because again we've already spent so much money perfecting the bodywork i really wanted the paintwork to look amazing and check out that blend guys i think it came out really 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 nice so what they ended up doing is that they actually blended to this piece right here and they blended to the quarter back there they didn't actually touch the hood um, now I kind of wish they did touch the hood because there is a slight and when I say slight I mean very slight difference I mean just because I'm really trying to look at it and be picky I can notice it in person but all that other stuff he did end up blending it right over there we did end up painting the gas cap to match and we did end up painting the door handle to match we have the side skirt paint match the side blade paint match we have the, the, the extension right over there we're gonna actually throw onto this one we actually just slap it on this car and then we can finally get most of this interior together now it doesn't look like much things are missing on this car but if you guys look over here this all of this right over here guys is literally stuffed trim pieces a bunch of little things for this car it's gonna take me literally about four hours to try to get this whole thing together i still have a couple things over there for the super a couple things over there and the trunk is full of things for the super i know it doesn't look like it but there's so many little pieces to get this entire door together to get this section together to get that bottom side skirt things together um we actually need to realign this piece because he did remove it to paint it um so you guys can see the gap between these two are not that great and the gap between these two are not that that great he didn't actually touch the door he didn't touch the hood so that kind of gives us a good idea of what we need to actually move which is just this little piece a little more that way and it'll look absolutely perfect and also this piece right over here i do want to bring it out just a little bit it looks like it's just tucked in a little bit not too crazy and it's also missing some trim pieces underneath the hood because they had to remove this as well now we do again have everything but there's going to be literally so much to do so without further ado, let's just go ahead and start assembling as much as we can until the point to where we are exhausted and tired and we have to still continue on because I just cannot wait to get this thing together. It has just been, guys, too long, too long. Life is what you make it. I feel like I'm lazy. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on drip. I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places. I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive. So I can almost gave it. All this shit that I'm laying in is only the foundation. I've been going crazy. Just trying to find a way. I was in a base. Trying to turn the page. I was going through the face.
That's all I ever wanted. Never like me when you sober. Only like you when I'm lonely. Got me looking in the mirror for the cell diagnosis. Hell, I live in the me for the ever get to know me. If you tell me that you need me, then your action then show it. Knowing that you play the angles and I'm seeing through your motives. Put the weight down on my shoulder, found a way to hold it. I can't keep my focus, Betty. Keep composure, I win. I've been coping with all the pressure that I fed. Make it hard to hold my head, make it hard to get to sleep. Like I'm slipping from the edge, struggling to get a breath. Write the wrongs with the lead. Life is not a guarantee. Guys, I am assembling this car piece by piece. Hold on, hold on. I just need to, well, first things first, look at this inner jam right here. If I would have pulled all this out for Bondo, this wouldn't have lined up so perfectly. Look at the gaps right over here, like this thing, bam. Just, I mean, I just gotta straighten that up just a little bit, but just look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. Like definitely an OEM fitment that I've been looking for. And I don't know if you guys remember with the gas cap as well, I had a huge gap right over here. And now that gaps are all even right around this entire gas cap functions perfectly super happy on everything's coming out so far side skirt went on absolutely no problem this side skirt extension does have a little bit of scuffs but i did order some carbon fiber that's going to be replacing this that's not a big deal but guys this is coming together way better than i honestly imagined i'm so 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 excited i've already assembled the wheel liner right over here i assembled this piece over here we've went ahead and already adjusted the front fender um to put in the fender liner the the hood liner as well and we also started assembling parts of the door over there there. Now, honestly, at this point, I just need to put a grommet right here, put the super thing right over here, and then the last thing, honestly, is starting to assemble this full door. Now, this door is going to be a lot of work. We literally have, again, pieces on pieces on pieces for this door, and then we have a bunch of interior trim pieces and stuff like that we need to start putting in the interior. Again, such a long way to go, but we've made so much progress already. I really wanted to get it right, trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. Now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart But I lost it somehow Wish that someone could say It'll all be okay Just, just listen to me as I say Listen to me as I And finally, guys, the best part, the door card. This is going to literally make this door look mint. I feel like I was never hurt. All I wanted was to be loved. Guys, just look at that. <laughs> That looks too good. He finally got the complete door back together. Every little clip, every little button, every little screw, every little gasket is back on this door. Um, it was honestly such a pain looking for every original part, but that was very important for me mainly because I want this thing to be an OEM plus finish. The comfort access system is also working as well, which is, oh, the key's inside the car right now. Uh, but thankfully that started to work as well because there was a little um, module down there and thankfully after plugging that in, everything seems to be working perfectly again. Usually with salvage cars, they start having issues with the comfort access system. If you didn't plug in everything back originally just a little detail and i'm happy it came out successful uh, but at this point guys honestly um we do need to install this quarter glass pretty soon um i'm probably not gonna be doing that right now because i want to get it tinted and same with this one i need to get this thing retinted has a couple scratches on the tint itself uh, so i want to get that retinted i want to get this retinted but if you guys come out to the interior right now uh we do need to put together a bunch of the stuff over here so i'm gonna set you guys on time lapse and just try to figure out how to put everything back i don't even remember this because we did it like two months ago uh but yeah let's just go ahead and start putting together all the brackets.
And moments later, guys, we finally have the gasket right around the door. We have all the plastics back in place. We have the seatbelt pretty much there, all the plastics right back over here. So literally the only thing this side is missing is literally just the seat. Once we put the seat, we can actually put the seatbelt to the seat and we're graving the navy and that's all we need for this side. We have to pretty much apply all the plastics and everything to the other side. The only reason I removed it on the other side is to compare that side to this side. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and put on the plastics over there, put back in the seat. And honestly, um, it's pretty much repetitive. So, so with the power of editing, three, two, one. And about an hour and a half later, I cleaned up the garage just so this reveal will be a little bit cleaner. Um, but yeah, guys, as you guys can see, everything's great in the Navy, keyless entry. Oh, buddy. Now check that out, guys. We have the super right over here. We have the seat already installed. The seat's super dirty because it's been sitting in the garage. I do need to do an interior detail. I'll probably do that in the next video um, of the super. We actually install, like, look how much boxes of mods that we actually have for this car. Literally, the only two things that we have left to do uh, for this car is literally just a detail. Um, getting this window back in here. Well, detail is not really considered something that we have to do, but I want to do. Uh, but we need to get this glass back in here. But something that we can actually do today um i do notice that we actually have these two belly pans off the car i don't know why i actually removed these two panels off the car i ran the serial number on these parts and these are actually for the super i just don't remember removing these so just to button this up a hundred percent let's go ahead and jack up the car and install those two under panels Guys, that is such a beaut. Now I wanna do the absolute final touch and use Carly to go ahead and clear all the lights on the dash. Now hypothetically, if we have any issues with this car, the airbag lights are gonna stay on the dash and uh, all our errors are gonna still stay on the dash. But theoretically, we did fix everything. So if we do clear the lights using Carly, um, we should have no lights on the dash and how sick would that be? Now the two things we have is a restraint system malfunction and passenger restraint system. Now that's because I feel like because of the seatbelt was unplugged and also the crash sensor we ended up replacing that right before I actually reassembled everything so theoretically guys again if we actually clear these codes using Carly we should have no lights on the dash and this is gonna look so 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 clean and we can finally see the mileage because when you have all these errors and stuff you can't actually see the mileage on the car which is so annoying or like your fuel economy or any of your other settings it literally just takes it literally just takes over your dash so that's super annoying so I just want to get that knocked out now that we are clearing the codes guys oh. hopefully oh there you go already bam <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We officially have no codes on the dash, which means this is another project in the books that we have officially completed. And oh my God, I'm just so happy to see this car all put together. This is the first time I actually have a door card on this door, a seat in this car since I actually got this car. And uh, wow, this is this is just so surreal. No lights. Let me go ahead and plug in the seatbelt so we can just enjoy the fact that this car has no lights on the dash. Oh wait, oh, nope, yeah. <laughs> For a minute there, I actually thought we had a seatbelt light. Oh my God, that looks so so good if you guys enjoyed the fact that we actually fully installed literally everything onto this car in one video make sure to smash that like button if you guys are excited for the modifications on this car make sure to smash the like button because not only do we have performance modifications but a lot of aesthetic modifications and those are my favorite so without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out